During the Vietnam War, U.S. soldiers tried to gain a leg up by deploying a new type of weapon, Agent Orange, a chemical weapon that was extremely destructive to plant life. It was supposed to destroy the concealment and cover of Viet Cong forces. Unfortunately, Agent Orange would lead to widespread sickness and environmental damage in Vietnam for years after the war ended. While Vietnam was the target of Agent Orange, scars of this weapon still pepper the United States from the handling of this chemical. One of these scars is the Time Beach, Missouri disaster where a large amount of hazardous material was accidentally sprayed on a Missouri town which used to stand right here. This is that story. During the production of Agent Orange, a hazardous chemical called TCDD is produced as a byproduct. TCDD is very toxic and causes cancer. So how did it end up dumped across this Missouri town? It started with a man named Russell Bliss. He was responsible for the transport of the hazardous chemical away from the plant producing Agent Orange, but he also had a side gig. He would spray down dirt roads and farms in Missouri with waste oil to prevent dust from being kicked up. Many areas in rural Missouri still had dirt roads and the dust picked up from cars and wind proved to be a problem. In a mix-up, the barrels of TCDD Bliss was storing were mixed with the barrels of waste oil he used to spray the dusty roads. Bliss would then go around with the unknowingly contaminated oil and spray down any patch of dirt someone would pay him to spray. The biggest case of contamination would come in 1972 when Bliss was contracted to spray down the roads of Time Beach, Missouri. Over 100,000 gallons of TCDD contaminated oil was deposited across Time Beach's streets. Later on, the EPA would launch an investigation into the town. This was driven by the sickness caused by Bliss's other contracts. The EPA would find significant contamination on Time Beach's streets. Unfortunately, things would get worse for Time Beach shortly after the investigation. The town would be flooded in the biggest flood in the town's history. This would spread the toxic TCDD all over the entire town. By the time the waters had receded, the EPA had recommended no one go back. 800 families had to evacuate and the town was bought out by the government for decontamination. So how do you decontaminate a toxic town? The EPA would clean up the place by demolishing buildings, removing contaminated soil, and bringing in an incinerator to burn waste. The levee was also built to protect the town from flooding. Within several years, the cleanup would be completed, and it would be deemed one of the most successful toxic waste cleanup efforts in the United States. Soon after, the place would be open to the public as a park. This is the most common story you will hear when researching Times Beach. However, things go deeper than this story of toxic waste, evacuation, and recovery. Was the evacuation of Times Beach even necessary? Some argue that no, displacing those 800 families was not needed because the levels of contamination were too low to be dangerous. For example, the American Medical Association was critical of the evacuation and said there wasn't much risk because the TCDD contamination was low. On top of that, Dr. Vernon Hoke, a director at the CDC said years after the evacuation that he no longer believed it was necessary. We may never know for sure if the evacuation was necessary, but what we do know is that the impacts of the disaster were huge, whether by the chemicals or the stress of the evacuation. Today, Times Beach, Missouri remains one of the biggest examples of contamination in America.